I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It is Thursday morning, the 27th of June, 2024. And this is your friend, Angus Buncan, with a thought for the day. We start off in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 17. You are my hope in the day of doom. Are you going through a tough time at the moment? Well, he's told us he is our hope. And that's a wonderful thing to know. Then we go to the book of Romans chapter 8 and verse 31. What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? It's a win-win situation, isn't it? (laughs) Oh, my dear friends, you know, I love watching rugby. And they tell me when the South African Springboks go across to Wales to play rugby. The Welsh have got a reputation of singing. They are beautiful singers. I've heard them myself, and especially the male choirs. And they have these male choirs come on the field, and they start singing those beautiful Welsh songs before the match begins. It's total intimidation. It's like they've got 10 points on the board before the Springboks even run onto the field. Well, I've got good news for you. For you and I... Remember this, the score is on the board. Before we run onto that field, it is a clear-cut victory. Jesus Christ has told us that if he is for us, there is no one that can be against us. And I really believe as we go out today, we need to remember that. It doesn't matter how much tribulation, how many trials, how many hard times you're going through at the moment. The bottom line is, We know the end score. It is a victory because Jesus has fought the good fight. He's run the race. He's paid for our sins. And he said, all we need to do is to believe. I want to encourage you today to go out and tell somebody the score is on the board. It's a win-win situation. The devil is a liar, a thief, and he can do nothing to God's people. Today, remember, in bright lights, the scores on the board. We have the victory. Jesus bless you and have a lovely day. Goodbye.